Hey everyone, welcome to another Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday. Last week, I talked about how Alpha 20 is about enhancing the existing Carthling happiness system so that it challenges you to optimize and improve your town across multiple gameplay systems. This week, let's take a look at how artist Nelly has implemented different mood animations for your hearthlings so that you can tell at a glance whether or not your optimizations are influencing them for the better or for the worse. <laughs> Since you're mostly looking at your hearthlings from a top or high level perspective, Mally decided that changing their running and idle animations to reflect their mood would be the most effective way to show how your hearthlings are feeling. We'll also show their mood in the UI, but we wanted you to be able to gauge the mood of your town just by looking at the people instead of having to click on them or look at a list in a menu. Before improving the happy sad animations, Mally did a pass on Tom's existing baseline run animation. Here is the original. As you can see, it gets the job done, but it's a bit stiff. Arms and legs both move in a very simple back and forth pendulum motion. The shoulder has a hitch in it, and the head, torso, and hips are all one solid block they that might move up and down together, but do not actually reflect the side to side flexing that happens when you shift your weight as you run. Here for contrast is Mally's updated run. The general rule was to add more subtle, natural weight shifting, left and right movement to each body part, to give the animation an increased realism without breaking its adorable readability. Now when the arms swing, they swing in toward the body at the top of their arc. The feet point outward ever so slightly, and the toes bend naturally. The head, torso, and hips shift relative to each other according to which leg is currently taking the body's weight. Finally, there's a little pause at the end of each animation cycle to simulate the moment of weightlessness you feel before the arms and legs start moving in opposite directions. After this, Mally created the new Happy Run. The hearthlings are skipping! To start the process, Mally and Allie brainstormed what sort of motions people do when they're happy, and picked skipping because it's a high-energy, childlike action that fits hearthlings very well. Since happiness is also correlated to a lot of energy and movement in animation, the tweaks that Mally made to the run animation are all exaggerated in the Happy Run animation. More rotation in the arms and legs and feet, a stretching out of the torso at the apex of the movement, an exaggerated rotation in the head and torso and body. He also made a new happy idol to go with the happy run, so that you can see your hearthlings are in a good place even when they're not moving. Of course, your hearthlings aren't always happy. For when they're sad, he created a new sad idol. If happiness is about energy, then sadness is about the opposite. Contracting body parts in, moving as little and as slowly as possible. The sad run that goes with the sad idol was pretty challenging, as people tend to be low energy when they're sad, which is the opposite of expressive. But in the end, Ali, Mally, and Richard added a sluggish foot-dragging animation to the gloomy head tilt of the sad idol, which produces this sort of sheepish glum shuffle. The overall effect works pretty well, I think. It's great to be able to see, in the simulation itself, how your hearthlings are feeling. And that's it for this week! Let us know what you think here in the comments or in our forum at discourse.stonehearth.net. See you next week!